Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about an expression that I can sometimes have a little bit of an icky feeling about. And that's when people talk about loving someone for who they are. And especially when they talk about someone else not loving someone for who they are. I want to make clear I don't think this is always bad when people use it. Like, there are a lot of positive ways people can use this phrase. For example, people might use it to express that they accept someone fully the way they are, rather than just, like, expecting them, them to be something that they're not. Or, like, that they actually love someone for seeing the real them instead of, like, an image of them. So I think there are all these positive uses of this phrase. But there are also some ways I've heard people use this that in a way that can kind of put down or denigrate other people who don't have an experience like them. And there are two specific examples of this. Um, and they're kind of related. Basically, the one situation where I have repeatedly seen this come up is in trans communities. I participate in a number of discussion forums online in which there are trans people, both binary and non-binary people, and they talk about all sorts of problems and things going on in their life. And one of the things that comes up repeatedly is when people transition from living openly as one gender to living as another gender while they're in a relationship with someone. And for many people, transitioning like this involves some sort of physical changes to their body. Like, it often involves taking hormones, and uh, it may, for some people, involve surgery as well. For myself, I identify as trans, but I'm not interested in these sorts of changes to my body. But I want to make clear that it, it, it is something that a lot of people think about. And one of the things that comes up is, like, oftentimes people will be in a relationship with someone who is only attracted to one gender, or primarily attracted to one gender. So anyone who identifies as straight or gay, like homosexual, heterosexual, if you have one of those orientations, generally those people tend to be attracted to either men but not women, or vice versa. And if they're in a relationship with someone who has the, is of the gender that they're attracted to, or it has been living as that gender, and that person transitions, especially if, it, if they end up changing their sex characteristics through something like taking hormones. Uh, it's very common, it's not always the case, but it's common that people's feelings towards that person change. They might stop being attracted to them, and they might not feel the same sort of romantic love or sexual attraction, and they might not feel the desire to stay in a relationship with that person. And I, I want to make clear, I don't judge people if they experience that. People don't choose who they're attracted to. I'm mostly attracted to women, and I'm only occasionally attracted to men, and usually not as strongly. And I didn't choose that. Like, if I could choose, I would love to be attracted to everyone. It would give me more options in life, but it's just not how I'm wired. And I think the, the experience of other people resonates th with that. And so, like, the thing that I don't like is I've heard people judge and shame partners of trans people who transition as saying, well, if you really loved that person for who they are, then you would stay with them. Or like, if you stop being attracted to them or stop feeling romantic love for them, then it means you don't really love them for who they are. And this really bothers me. I'm just like, What's going on with you? Like, basically, you're shaming someone for having an orientation that is, like, they didn't choose. Like, and that bothers me a lot. I've also seen this same exact issue come up in discourse from bisexual and pansexual people. And I want to make clear, it's uncommon, but it's something that really gets me when people say it. Um, I also want to make clear, I really support bi and pan people. I am not bi or pan, but uh, I really care about people who are, and I think sometimes their sexualities can get shamed or erased, and they can kind of face it from both sides, both coming from like straight people dealing with heteronormativity, and also coming from gay people. Like, they can be like, oh, 
you know, like, you're not really, you don't really belong in the LGBTQ community. I've heard people say stuff like that. That all really bothers me. So I want to make that clear. I really support bi and pan people. But sometimes I've heard them talk about uh, other people's attraction in a way that I think can judge or shame, judge as inferior, people who have kind of like monosexual orientations. Like they're either oriented primarily towards men, or only towards men, or oriented primarily or only towards women. And there'll be this, this sort of sense of like, oh, well like, I don't look at a person's gender in whether or not I'm attracted to that person, and that makes me somehow superior. Like, and people will use that term again, like, I love them for who they are. And like, sometimes there can be this implication of like, if you have like one of those single gender orientations, that you aren't really loving someone for who they are. That really bothers me. Like, like I said earlier, I didn't choose to be oriented primarily towards women. Uh, it's just the way I'm wired. And the same goes for most other people who have these orientations. And like, it's just an icky thing. So like, I would strongly encourage people to not say that. It's also important to understand, um, bisexuality and pansexuality are diverse. I can't speak for those people, but I have heard a lot of people talk about their own sexualities. And it's not even true that all bi or pan people don't consider a person's gender. Uh, there are quite a few people who identify in those ways, but still have like a, a strong tendency towards one gender or the other, or they might have the attraction play out in different ways based on people's gender. So there are some people who don't have gender factor into their attraction at all, and that's great. I personally wish I could be like that, but I'm not. But there are also people for whom gender does factor in, and again, they don't choose it. It's like you don't choose exactly how your sexuality plays out. And so, yeah, that's what I have to say about the idea of loving someone for who they are. Like, I think it's this great idea. There are a lot of ways in which people use that phrase that it can be a really beneficial thing. You're talking about something positive. But there are some contexts in which that phrase can be used to shame people who have sexual orientations or romantic orientations where they are only attracted to one gender or primarily attracted to one gender. And so I would strongly encourage you to be mindful whenever you use that phrase, like just do a little mental check. Am I doing one of these things? Am I judging or shaming one of these people with one of these uh, orientations? Yeah, ask yourself that question, and if you're not, then great, go for it. Uh, otherwise, maybe it would be good to examine your thinking and to find a different way to express your ideas that doesn't judge or shame people with those orientations. Yeah, thank you.